Greetings. This year is the Bailey's fourth holiday note. Lots to talk about this year, so let me clear my throat. In January, Shannon and Little Mason from California flew out. They wanted to spend some time with us, without a doubt. They helped us around the house and with our new little boy. Quality time well spent. All what a joy. Mason helped Michael by running a few tests. Time to test Binky so Michael can rest. Shannon was a big help too, giving us motherly advice. Better than a professional asking market price. Cha-ching. They all stayed and helped us for a few days. Glad they could come. It was amazing grace. Up from sunny Florida, Michael's grandmother did depart. Soon will be a blizzard. Good thing she's a sweetheart. With Grandma up and the snow falling down outside, Grandma got to meet Michael. I think she may have cried. At this time, Michael could only eat, sleep, and poop, but he won Grandma's heart. She didn't leave the Bailey's coop. We were all snowed in, and the sun did not shine, but we were enjoying each other's time. A week with Grandma, and the time had come to say goodbye. With all the snow, she almost missed her plane, but she did fly. I truly wish our son could have met my crazy brother. I figured another year without him would have been tougher. Michael's crazy uncle would have been teaching our son a few tricks. It would have been fun, both of them sidekicks. I believe where one life is lost, another is born. Michael has David's eyes. Sometimes I wonder if he wasn't reborn. If this is the case, mommy and daddy better look out. This is just something very special I thought I would write about. It's great to see how David's kids love to play and hold Michael. I keep reminding myself, this is just God's cycle. With the family packed, we set forth on a mission to Calhoun County Park, some of the best viewing of the night sky since there it is absolute dark. We wanted to go there to observe the night sky and the beauty of the stars. Around the mountains, up and down hills, we felt like we were going to Mars. With the tent up before dusk, we realized we were the only ones there. We should have a very peaceful experience, as long as we don't see a bear. Up until 3 a.m., observing Jupiter, ISS, shooting stars, and our great Milky Way. It was very breathtaking with the family. Wow, what a display. On our adventure, as you see, this is only where the fun begun. A group of coyotes howling outside our tent. Where's my Tommy gun? Heard a big thud on the car with some very loud chatter. Flashlight in hand, Dad sprung from his bed to see what was the matter. 5 a.m., no lights, pitch black, we were a little scared. We decided to sleep in the car since we were visually impaired. The trip was very spiritual and not at all a bother. It is truly amazing to see the mix of the father. At this time, all the snow melted and Michael being able to set up, we decided to ride some trails with a pretty cool setup. Michael loves riding around in his pull-behind trailer a lot. Mom and Dad working their tails off, but he's the big shot. With so much fun, we got 10 miles into a trail one day. Michael started screaming, Look out! We have the right of way! With Michael as our siren, he screamed and cried the 10 miles back. Everyone looking at us, wondering what was wrong. I felt like a quack. He loves cruising, even though this would happen every once in a while. I would tell him to quit drawing attention, even though he's riding in style. Michael has a new companion. His name is Buster the Dog. He runs around and makes Michael laugh. He's Sonic the Hedgehog. Buster has been teaching Michael all kinds of new tricks. The first time I saw it, I thought I was going to be sick. Because of Buster, we have a new window washer in town. Oh my, grab the camera. What a good looking clown. Buster is a great companion, even though he gets beat up. Buster loves Michael's attention, but he may need a tune-up. Next year, it'll be exciting to watch them run and play together, but for right now, that will have to wait until better weather. This summer was fun, and to Michael we have a big surprise. We got the family a big swimming pool with a little improvise. We introduced water to Michael at six months of age. I think he'll be a swimmer like his mama at teenage. He loves to splash around and get mom and dad all wet. The pool that was gifted to us by friends. What a great asset. Michael loved the water very much, so we decided what the heck. Time to take Michael on the boat, since it's been a shipwreck. Took the family boating down to Salt Fork and Seneca Lake. Much fun the Bailey family did partake. Chris and Dave joined us down on the lake one summer evening. Got stuck in our first downpour, but later roasted some weenies. Michael had a great evening, even though he had to sleep between Dad and Mom, and a concealed cabin we laid. I just wish he hadn't let stink bombs. 
took our first family vacation this summer and was a big hit. Drove through the night to Florida, arrived lickety split. Was interesting to see a person mowing their lawn at four in the morning, but more importantly, Michael slept through the night. Good morning. We took Michael to the ocean for the very first time. He was mesmerized by the ocean waves. No playtime? We stuck his little feet in the sand and waited for a wave. He screamed when waves crashed on his legs. He sent out a shock wave. Overall, he enjoyed the beach with all of its great glory. One more item we'll have to write down for his story. Can never go down to Florida without visiting the jetty to eat. Great grandpa, mom, Hal, Katie, Michael, and I, we did all meet. Had so much fun with family in the Sunshine State. It's just time that we all must await. By this time, Michael has reached milestone after milestone. We can't believe it's going on a year. Wow, how time has flown. He is at such a fun age with all his baby babbles and smile. We feel we are flying as high as a kite, like a statute mile. On December 8th, another big milestone we did reach. I'm not saying that as a figure of speech. All the dirty diapers throw up and being peed all over. We still know Michael is our four-leaf clover. We are very fortunate and lucky to have our son, and it's time to celebrate because he just turned one. To the Bailey's house, family did come. Time to celebrate and eat some cake. Yum! Michael didn't get as dirty as mom and dad wanted, and that's okay. He enjoyed time with our family on this very fine day. As you can see, this year has brought us much joy. We couldn't imagine life without our little baby boy. We hope this Christmas letter finds you all in good cheer. Merry Christmas to all, and have a happy new year. Well, Buster. What's that?